Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh WRB here, bringing you a brand new review, and today I'm talking to you guys about life. So let's just talk about life for a second here, guys. It is a movie directed by Daniel Espinoza. He also did Safe House with Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington, if you haven't seen it. Actually, not a bad movie. I actually really like that one, actually. Actually. So this one stars also Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, and a bunch of other really good actors, actually. Actually, I'll read you the synopsis that IMDb gave us. It is, a team of scientists aboard an international space station discover a rapidly evolving life form that caused extinction on Mars and now threatens the crew, all life on Earth. Okay, so this is like the, the, the real life more grounded in reality alien movie, I guess. So, like, it, it did remind me of a lot of other space movies that I've seen in the past, but this one, like, this, the special effects on the actual, like, space station and Earth and stuff looked pretty good to me, but, you know, like, I am more of a fan, to be honest, of, like, Moon and stuff like that. Like, the, he... The way they made Moon look aesthetically is the way I like my space movies to look. It, it was done with miniatures and close-ups, and it just looks so good. In this one, everything was CGI that I, I found myself looking for stuff that looked fake, like them dangling. Obviously, they're not in space, and I, I don't know why I do this, and it just really takes me out of the movie. I was looking for stuff that looked wrong, and don't do that because this movie is done really well in that regard like the special effects for the space and all the gadgets and stuff that you have to have up there looked amazing except for the when the monster thing or whatever it is grows and gets bigger i started to hate it it, it wasn't it wasn't a thing that i was scared of or it was just more of an annoyance to me i i don't know like it it, it was a pretty good movie the acting was amazing, but the characters, other than uh, the one character that you see has, like, a daughter while he's up there in the space station, that's the only character that you really have any reason to care about more than anyone else in this space station. You don't, there's no real character development so, especially Jake Gyllenhaal's character, when he starts to act really dramatic at the end, like he's really good at doing, he's a super good actor, the The character, like, you don't really feel for him because you don't really know who this guy is. And I felt that way about every character. So, obviously, all these people, anything that happens in space with an alien or a monster or stuff like that, it would obviously suck. But that's where good storytelling comes in and makes you feel and... <clears throat> I don't know, like, want characters not to die, I guess, is what I'm saying. My favorite character in this movie was somebody, I'm not going to say, but they kind of, they're not in it for the longest amount of time. So I feel like every other character could have benefited from him staying in the movie a lot longer because it would have made it a lot more interesting. But it just seems like these people are the smartest people because they are up in the space station. They're there for a very important mission. Yet, when everything goes wrong, it's like they're the dumbest people in the world. Like every alien space movie, I guess, especially Prometheus. This, oh, I have to talk to you about the suspense because the suspense was insane in this movie. Like the amount of drawn out scenes and like when the score kicks up and does that high pitched violin and stuff, you know that you are supposed to be scared or something potentially is going to pop out or scare you. They did that really well. So they're like the drawn out suspense was so good. The acting was really good. The monster or entity, whatever the hell, the, the Mars creature, really I didn't enjoy. And they they showed it a lot. And that's, for me, if something doesn't look good, like especially in a horror movie, when the monster or when the uh, antagonist, I guess in this case is that, doesn't look good, I wish they would pull a Hitchcock and show way less. Because that always, your mind can fill in the blanks so much better than any CGI could. It's a horror movie in space, so just go in expecting that. This movie is definitely worth checking out. It's an interesting take on the whole space monster, whatever uh, genre of movie. So I want to watch this one again just to kind of see, because I was in a, 
I don't know, like it was a little weird situation in the theater. There, there was some older people because it was a Thursday pre-show uh, before it comes out today. And there was some older people in the theater that kept getting up, going to the washroom and coming back and sitting in different seats. And it was just weirding me out so much. There was this guy that was sitting behind me and all of a sudden halfway through the movie, he comes and sits beside me like a couple seats and I had the whole role to myself so I was really weirded out because I knew he was behind me I didn't know what he was doing so it, like that really kind of took me out of the movie as well people playing musical chairs like I've never seen that in a movie so I was really weirded out by it and I didn't understand it so yeah that's life <laughs> I guess that's life too being weirded out by old people uh this movie is getting four out of six bottles it uh, the mon yeah, like all all the faults I had from this movie, I still really enjoyed it. The acting, like I said, was really good, and I love every interview that I've seen in their press junket with Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal together. If you haven't seen them, go and watch them now. They're the funniest things ever, and it has nothing to do with this movie. They don't answer a single question. It is just straight up laugh out loud stuff. So go and check those out if you haven't. It's so funny. But yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click this video you see on the screen. You might actually like it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a nice day, guys.